As someone who's fluent in Mandarin, that was the only time I've ever written in Mandarin. I've had it quite a few times as being someone who can't really write characters very well. Your level of reading and speaking and listening is so good, but like, look at you, you can't even write. Being a Mandarin learner, you've almost certainly heard loads about learning Chinese characters and how difficult it can be. But do you actually need to learn to write by hand thousands of Chinese characters in order to reach your goals and be proficient in the language? In this video, I'm going to be giving my verdict and the answer might surprise you. But before I do so, let's first get into the benefits and the drawbacks of learning to write Chinese characters. So first, let's talk about the benefits of writing. First of all, it can really help with reading as Obviously, there's a lot of characters in the Chinese language that actually look really similar. So having this ability to actively write them out and distinguish them that way can really help with your character recognition. Secondly, it can actually give you a deeper understanding of the language, understanding where characters came from, how they're constructed, the different components or the pianpang, and also like the evolutionary process that's happened to, from the Chinese characters from where they were to where they are today as simplified characters. Another key point is that native speakers, like if you're one of those people that kind of likes this feeling, native speakers will be quite impressed if you can write out everything by hand. Now I've had, I've had it quite a few times as being someone who can't really write characters very well well having like native speakers jokingly take the mick out of me being like oh your your level of reading and speaking and listening is so good but like look at you can't even write so if you want that kind of benefit that could also be considered one too another benefit is being able to distinguish words with the same pronunciation which is something that some people struggle with in the in the opinion there's only a limited number of ways of pronouncing something and there's only a limited number of combinations so for example if there were to be two characters that are completely different words that look very similar and have exactly the same opinion, it may be that if you know how to write them out, that might really help with separating them out in your head and having completely different associations so that you know that they're different words and used in different contexts. The final benefit of writing is this cultural preservation. In Chinese culture nowadays, there's so much of an emphasis on texting and reading and character recognition as opposed to writing them out by hand. So there's a big argument that in order to preserve this culture, this ancient art of writing out beautiful characters, characters that we, we, we should actually be continuing to learn to write as opposed to just relying on character recognition. For example, I have a lot of friends that after coming over to the UK and having been immersed in an English environment for a long time, they actually forget how to write really simple things in Chinese. For example, sneeze like that pen tea. They can't remember how to write out the characters for it. And some would argue that that's, a, that's like a cultural loss as characters are so integral to the Chinese culture. So now let's talk about some of the drawbacks of writing for Mandarin language learning. Learners. First of all, you don't actually need to be able to write things by hand in order to actually write in a general sense in Mandarin. If you know pinyin and you can recognise characters, that's more than enough to write on a computer and type things out and also to send texts to your friends, which for most people is probably more than enough. And also there's there's not actually much of a need to write out by hand in general because recognition is probably going to be more than enough. Recognition is more enough to read and as I said to type. As someone who's fluent in Mandarin and has been learning Mandarin for nearly four years now, the only time I've ever had to write Mandarin is when I was trying to get through the boarding of like you had to fill out a form in the Chinese airport to like let them know who your emergency contact was and which city you were going to in China and that was the only time I've ever written in Mandarin because there's just never been a need to. And finally it's actually a really big time investment even if you do it right. So to be considered literate in Mandarin, you probably need to be able to write about three to four thousand characters, like most common characters. And that's going to take you an awful long time, even if you start using mnemonics, you know, you use space repetition, you use active recall, you do everything right. It's a big time investment, which in my opinion, you could probably be using to do improve your speaking or improve other things which are more important to you. So what's my verdict on this topic? Do you need to learn to write in Mandarin? Well, my answer is actually going to be 见人见智. You know, it really depends on your situation it depends on the individual person. It depends how important this skill is to you. So the example for me personally is that I've never felt it to be a, an important investment of my time to learn how to write out all the characters by hand when I'd rather invest that time in improving my speaking, improving my reading and improving my listening as those are a lot more important to me. But you could be someone who you know needs to go and live in China, in which case writing by hand is probably going to be a lot more of an important skill to you than it is for me. And also it's worth bearing in mind that this decision may change in future. So for example, 
I would actually recommend as a beginner that you don't learn to write and you invest all your time learning how to speak and listen, getting by with character recognition, so that you've got a really solid base in those two important skills. And then later on, if you're interested and you want to further improve your reading, then learning to write may be of benefit to you. So do you need to learn to write characters out by hand to be fluent in Mandarin? Well, the simple answer to that is no. Should you learn to write? I think the answer to that's a bit more niche and it really depends on your situation, as I hope I've already made clear. So my personal decision was no, but that may be very different for you. So please let me know down in the comments below. What do you think? Is it worth learning to write out all the characters by hand? And has how has it helped you in your Mandarin learning journey to do so. All right, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to learn how to speak fluent Chinese, but you aren't too sure how to go about it, you might want to go and check out my free newsletter on peakmandarin.com. Run by me and my friend Misha, the Peak Mandarin newsletter offers practical tips and techniques to solve all your biggest Mandarin speaking problems. It's based on what we did to become fluent in the language and what we wish our teachers had told us at a lower level. Subscribe now and we'll also send you a free copy of our 50 page ebook, telling the story of exactly how we taught ourselves to speak fluent Chinese while working and studying full-time in the UK. If you're interested, you can sign up on peakmandarin.com or click the link in the description below. Bye for now.